This is the petite posture chair, it's ideal for smaller users and is designed specifically that particular kind of user in mind. It's got a, a smaller back, it's got a very flat back, it's got a slight bit of uh, lumbar curve in here. It's not a very wide back but certainly is plenty big enough for someone of sort of that sort of height range. It's got an inflatable lumbar which we'll come on to shortly which allows you to get some more adjustability there. The other thing to say is that the seat is shorter front to back to allow for the shorter leg length. I'll come on to that again in a second, but it's a smaller seat than a traditional office chair. Sometimes a small seat is required just because of the leg length from the hip to the knee particularly. The first thing to say about all chairs is that you need to get your feet firmly on the floor and you need to get roughly a 90 degree angle at the knee, maybe slightly more than that. It's important that you get your feet on the floor because the, your whole body and posture is balanced if that's the case. So the lever at the front allows you to adjust the chair up and down. If you're really quite short from the knee down to the floor, we can put a shorter gas onto the chair, which is the bit that goes between the base and the underside of the seat. And that allows you to get slightly lower down at the minimum height range and make sure that you can get your feet on the floor. The alternative to that is get a footrest so that your feet are firmly on the footrest. It's all subject to what kind of height of desk that you've got and if you need any advice please give us a call and we can talk you through that kind of problem. The next thing to do is get a gap of about three fingers behind the knee to the leading edge of the seat. That's really quite important. Now a traditional office chair if you're quite short from the hip to the knee will actually mean that the gap is less than three fingers, maybe even one finger or no fingers. And the problem with that is it reduces circulation in the legs. If you've got a really big gap, as you can see here, I've got a really big gap, then the muscles just above the knee are not supporting the legs. So the way to get around that is a lever on the left hand side allows you to slide the chair seat forward relative to the back. So for me, I've got long legs, sit back into the chair, it's more like the three finger gap, even though I'm six foot tall you've still got a good variation of a small seat but with the depth adjustment so that you can really cater to people with different leg lengths from the hip to the knee. So you adjust that by simply lifting the lever, sliding the seat forward. This kind of chair has got a really really good mechanism which gives you great variety of adjustments. Normally you're sitting at 90 degrees on a chair and a traditional office chair usually has what's called a synchronized mechanism which means the seat and the back angles adjust together. This kind of chair has got both independent seat angle and back angle adjustment which really gives you the best options and the best of both worlds. When you lift the middle lever you're able to adjust both the seat and the back angle together. So really what we're trying to do is adjust the seat angle here. If you imagine normally sitting at 90 degrees you've got the ability to open up the seat angle, have it tilting slightly towards the ground. That's really good if you've got lower back pain particularly because it helps open up the spine, helps reduce pressure through the discs in the spine and that's a good thing. So you're able to rock, pivot using your feet to push against the back and then the other good thing about this is that that resistance to push the, the back cushion backwards you can adjust to body weight so there's a hand wheel underneath the seat which allows you to either tighten or slacken so that you can increase or decrease the resistance for when this middle lever is up and the tilt is adjustable so you can increase or decrease the pressure required to push the back backwards so you can either leave it unlocked and, and rock which is a good thing because it increases circulation through the legs or push the lever down and it locks the seat into position the lever at the back and the rear of the three levers Lift that up, adjust the back on its own, so you've got the ability to adjust the back angle. Now the really nice thing about this chair is that not only does the back come to the vertical, it also comes further forward than the vertical. So when you're leaning forward, when you're working either on the phone, keyboard, working forwards, the back is still supporting the lower part of your back, which is really, really important. So you can leave it free floating like that, or again push the lever down and you can lock the back into position. Now in conjunction with the back angle, you can adjust the back height, and that's on a ratchet. And basically, the, there's a ratchet within the back which allows you to adjust the height, go too far, or right to the top, push it down again. So it allows you to position the back shape for the right shape for your own back. In conjunction with that, there's an inflatable lumbar, which is a bag that runs through the upholstery at the base of the back, which works on the same principle as somebody taking your blood pressure, squeeze the ball, to release the air, simply push the button 
down there. So if you imagine everyone's got a sort of an S shape back, you're able to position the lumbar support in the S curve of the back. So that's really important as well. As you can see, this chair's got arms on. Um, most chairs these days do have, but if you don't like them, you don't have to have arms. You can start without arms, and potentially if you wanted to, you could get arms for the chair at a later date. But it's a sort of thing that you can choose at the outset. We offer three types of height adjustable arm. The first is purely a, a height adjustable, goes into sort of seven different heights. What you're looking to do is get roughly a 90 degree angle at the arm and the elbow point. Uh, too low, the angle is more than 90 degrees and you're having to push the arms down which stretches the muscles in your shoulders. If the arms are too high, the muscles are bunched and the muscles tense in the neck and the shoulders and again that's a bad thing. So get to the roughly the right height and you'll know when you get there what is the right and most comfortable height for you. The second type of arm is this arm which the button on the side allows you to adjust to different heights. But the other nice thing about the arm is if you imagine working close up to a desk quite often the leading edge of the arm hits the leading edge of the desk. Well this arm you can push the arms back, you've still got some elbow support but you can get closer up to the desk and work at the optimum distance between your body, the work surface, your keyboard, that sort of thing. So you can go up and down and you can push the arm pads back and forwards. The third arm option again, similar basis to this, goes up and down but there's also a button at the base of the arm which allows you to rotate the arms completely backwards through 90 degrees and again you've then got no problem with the leading edge of the arm hitting the desk. So this is the petite posture chair, it's ideal for the smaller users, dedicated to that particular user, it's very adjustable but it's, it's a great value chair for the price.